Have you seen Making a Murderer, the Netflix documentary series that seems to show two rural Wisconsin hicks getting set up by police for crimes they didn't commit? If not, you should. It's like the TV flip side of cops. And a petition for President Obama to pardon the convicts featured in the series, Stephen Avery and Brandon Dassey, passed the threshold of 200,000 signatures that compels the White House to respond to it. And they did, by informing that the president can only pardon those convicted of federal crimes, not state crimes like Avery and Dassey allegedly committed. Which proves that over 200,000 people can be motivated to sign a petition, but not to check Google. The series proves something else, that juries should be at-home TV viewers. Think about it. Clearly, those 200,000 viewers were more vested in the trial's outcome than a jury of 12 people crammed together in a room and eager to go home. Everything else is going online, why not jury trials? As a transitional measure, we can have cases brought on stage in front of a panel of celebrity judges. And to make it truly colorblind, we can have the judges be like The Voice and sit in chairs with their back to the accused and only turn their chair when they decide guilt or innocent. If granted an appeal, the accused appear before Judge Judy. <coughs> and then we move to a system of trial by viewer. Jurors are selected by both lawyers based on viewing habits. If you find yourself getting bored as a juror, you PVR the trial and come back to when you're rested and better able to focus, allowing you to be more alert and attentive to detail. And all deliberations are done on Google Hangout. Can you honestly tell me that this method of court proceedings would result in a worse system than the present one? And it would also freshen up the format of law and order. You know the truly strange thing? With the trajectory we're on, what today is intended as satire is the reality of tomorrow. Think about it, 20 years ago, would you have believed they'd make a cable show out of people being buried alive? Or a hit series from going through people's garbage? Or marrying a complete stranger just to be on TV? Or that an angry orange could make real life into his reality show? Listen, if you want to make a fortune in TV, develop a concept that is too exploitative, offensive, or ridiculous for current sensibilities, then wait five minutes. But I digress. As for the Avery case, it shows that people are willing to ignore years of data that the justice system is weighted against the poor until it's featured on a TV series run during a month when most TV series are in reruns. But next video, suggestions for making of a murderer season two.